Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. It's Sovereign Saturday. Become a master of your craft. Become a master of your craft. I'm gonna tell you what, every man, every single man, there's no exceptions, need to have something that he is real good at, that he's a master of. And let me be clear, this don't necessarily mean you can make money from it. Hey, that's great if you can make money from your craft. Real great. But you know what? Every, every craft isn't even really about money. It's about that one thing in life that you can control, that you have expertise in. You know? Like your craft could be just simply painting. Now, yes, you can make money from painting and everything. Well, two types of painting, now that I think about it. You know, two types. You know, you can do that artwork and everything, and you know, you might make some money from it, might not. But you're real good at what you're doing. But then, also painting a house. <laughs> now somebody say, hey, well, you know, how's that a, a craft? It's a craft, and trust me. I've, I've, um, I've seen some bad paint jobs, <laughs> one way or the other. I've seen some bad paint jobs, and you know, it's, yeah, that, that's a serious craft to really paint stuff and that has splatter all over everything to do a really good job. You know, know how to get the right mix of paint, know how to tape things together. That's a craft. And of course, that's actually one you can make money with. But it's so many things. It, maybe your craft is just uh, arranging flowers in your yard, flowers and plants and stuff in your yard. And that's a craft. Now you might, somebody say, well, you can't make money from it. As I said, everything you do isn't always about money. It's about your own satisfaction. Your craft is what you do to feel good about. That's the thing. That is the thing. That's the thing you want to do. That's the craft and you good at it, mastered at it. Because I'm going to tell you what, when we talk about sovereignty, it, you know, that's, that's having something that you can control, something you can feel good about. Every man wants that. Every man wants that. In fact, in my book, Nice Guys and Players, I said a man, even if he's making six figures, need to have that business that he controls. Your craft can be that. I've known some guys who've uh, done, they can do research. Like I knew a gentleman, he could research a family's history. And he didn't get paid for it. He didn't get paid for it at all. But he was, it was something that he was real good at doing. So that's the thing. That, that's the thing that you want to really work on. You want to be able to do that. Very important, very important. So that's one of the things. And then you want to, like I say, it could be anything. NBC is more to it than just uh, is more to it than just mastering it. But think about just the process of mastering something. You really got to get into it. You have to learn it up and down. You have to know the nuances of it. Just the mere process of it. You can feel good that you know the little stuff. You could talk shop with someone else in that particular field, like. Uh, I don't know, quantum physics, you can master that. A lot of people can't talk about that, but you've mastered it. Yeah, hopefully you can make some money from that, but you can feel good, and then you have the expertise. Because think about something. Think about the psychology of knowing that you know something, that anybody could come to you to understand something. Like you're the expert. You're the expert. People have to listen to you. I'm going to tell you, psychologically, think about it. Think about something. I want you to think about psychologically when you can sit back and people have to search out your expertise on something. And it can be something unusual. It can be something that many people don't think about. But it's still important. Like, it could be something like knowing the mating habits of ants and how they do stuff. Now somebody will say, well, it's just ants. What? You might be, well, one, you might be able to be an exterminator, but you might be able to help out. Like beekeeping, beekeeping. You, I mean, you might not make money off it, not, might not try, but you know, there was, well, it was a big issue about uh, bees disappearing. 
they have to come to you and say, well, what can we do? You know? And like I said, it's not always about making money. It could be fishing. You could be real good at fly fishing. <laughs> and it, it feels good. It calms you down. Anything. But you want to do that because when we talk about sovereignty, being the master of something that nobody can take from you. See, well, that's another thing with it. If you become the master of something, nobody can take that from you. Nobody can take the work you did to develop that skill to understand. Nobody can take it from you. And of course, if you master something, you're going to always keep working on it. You're going to learn whatever new thing comes out, new technology or something. And you're going to really learn how to use it. Now, like I said, it's great. It's great if you can make money from it. That's the, hey, that's the ultimate thing. If you can make money from something, that is the ultimate thing. But you get something greater than money when you master a craft. Something greater. Satisfaction. How many men, men are going out here and they don't feel good about what they're doing. They don't feel like that they matter, that they feel invisible. You know? And they could be introverted. They could be extroverted. They could be whatever. How good does it feel? Think, everybody out there, every man listening, think about how good it feels to know you know this. You know this. Now, of course, I've talked about uh, similar subjects and guys will say, well, I don't know what I'm good at. Well, you saying it, making a comment about it, that's not, I can't help you there. Because that's part of sovereignty too, knowing yourself to know what's good, what you're good at. Everybody knows what they like. Everybody knows what they don't like, you know? Your, your thing you master is that you could be good at collecting comic books. I'm serious, or like figuring out which ones are going to be expensive and which ones aren't. Seriously, hey, you could get a business out of, out of that as well. But it's what you like. It don't matter. It could be video games. It could be certain video games. As long as you like it, as long as you master it, that's the very important thing. Is it, and it doesn't matter. It don't have to be something to make a lot of money. And it doesn't have to be something to impress anybody. See, that's another thing. Don't worry about impressing somebody else with your skill or your knowledge. This is one thing you can be totally selfish about. Is you do it because you like it. This is about making yourself happy and content. Like I said, it goes beyond money. It brings you peace. I've known some guys, shoot, they, their form of peace is going hunting. I had, a, a well, he was a cousin by marriage, a step cousin, and he was a deer hunter. But I, just in listening to him, I mean, you know, Rom, I'm thinking deer, okay, go out there and do, you know, go find a deer. This dude was breaking down like since having um, something, some some platform and trees, using bow and arrows on the deer. It's like this dude had a total expertise in dealing with deer. His total expertise, but that was his craft, and he was good with it. You know, shoot, indeed, a craft could be someone like with deer. Someone might say, well, you know, I ain't trying to kill deer. Their craft is getting out in, in nature and taking photographs of deer. That's a craft, taking good photographs. You know, whatever it is, you want it something that you are good at. All right. So that's all I have for to uh, for now. That's all I have for now. But yeah, master your craft. Figure out what you're going to do. And like I said, you don't have to come on here and ask, well, I don't No, 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 You figure out what you're doing. I don't know you personally. You have to know yourself. Nobody can tell you. They can make a suggestion if they know you. But ultimately, ultimately, you have to know what you want to master. You. Nobody else can ultimately tell you. They can suggest all they want. You have to know. All right. So that's all I have for this one. I'll get back with you. Be sovereign.